I'm actually like 12 or 11 weeks behind, but hey, we're finally here. Megumin's side spin-off story starts now. Whoa. Already the soundtrack is really good. Crimson Demons, yeah? What is this battle already? Oh, okay. Megumin. Was that Mom? That wasn't mom. No, we already saw mom in the movie. Her tits weren't that big. Is this kind of explosion magic though? I don't know. Because maybe this is when Megumin first I don't know, experienced explosion-like magic and was like, oh my god, so cool. Yeah? Do the intro. Waga! Megumin! Who is this though? Red-haired elf? Girl? Kazuma, why are you narrating this? <laughs> I guess Kazuma won't be in this spin-off series though, huh? Okay, okay, okay. So he just turned into a narrator for this season? Why did she leave hometown though? Oh, Funaku and Megumi? We're trying to get uh, our dinner? <laughs> trying to catch some fish? Whoa. That was her attack. What the fuck? Megumin, did you do it? Uh, the puzzle you finally finished. Puzzle meeting the seal. Man, she is stacked. She might be even bigger than Wiz. I'm not completely sure. Teach us how to explosion. Magic like yours. I wonder if she's still... <laughs> that's, kind of, that's dangerous. That's actually really dangerous. Telling, <laughs> giving a kid a powerful world domination is kind of insane, but... <laughs> she never got that wish. Bigger dream. Megumin's dream? Explosion magic. To become the best... Yeah! Your magic is insane, lady. Why? <laughs> so disappointed. So sassy. Such as... Explosion! Mm. The most powerful kind. Oh, look at her eyes light up. Catching crawfish! Konako! Oh? So cool, Big Sis. So cute. And the day after. And the day after. Sakana's! Union! Uh, you wanna say hi? Union! Hmm? You gonna acknowledge her? Come on, that's like. I'm not sure if they're friends yet. You want a crawfish? Gonna give <laughs> You're gonna give her a crawfish? <laughs> what you gonna do with it? Cook it up at home? Was that charity? I felt bad for her. <laughs> oh, Union catching side the stray bullets. Special? <laughs> the only two pieces. <laughs> <laughs> she was so fucking surprised at two pieces there. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? You... Why did you... <laughs> the fuck that? <laughs> Is this why we're broke? <laughs> Does he try to contest everyone that try to buy shit? What, what is this? Is it a bracelet? <laughs> so easy to win him over. Dear to me. Probably the first girl we saw in the beginning, because they both have same hair color, right? Oh, there it is! Her academy outfit! The fancy tea. That is the fancy tea, the boiled water. The best explosion. Do they know about explosion though? 
Okay. We said explosion. Do you know what that means? Because that lady said that, um, there's great negatives that comes with the explosion magic. Woo! It's all just girls. I think he was one of the guys that was in the final fight, right? Like, I'll become the headmaster next time, I think. Don't recognize these other girls, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah these three we know, right, from the movie. Where is Union? <laughs> the Chosen Eleven. We are the Eleven Elites. <laughs> Nerimaki. Is Union invited? <laughs> so edgy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of like this in school too. It's like, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to get the best grades. I'm trying to be the best student here. <laughs> Only did I realize I was fucking dumb. Yeah, you gave her crawfish! It's the crawfish girl, come on! No one knows the chief's daughter? No, 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 she knows. But you gave me a crawfish! I thought we were friends! Come on! You can't publicly say this shit in front of all your cohort. I Oh. Oh, a declaration right off the bat? Why, though? This is pretty cool. This is pretty tuny, but why, though? We just gave you a crawfish, and now you want to defeat us? Explosion magic. Blasting bombing. Explosion. Does anyone know of it? They do know of it. Why? Why is this so forbidden? Repays an entire life pursuit of it. No practical application. Joke magic. Because in a practical setting, it's not very convenient to use, I guess. I kind of get what they're saying. I mean, it's great at just like nuking down a boss, but you're not always going to be in a situation to nuke down a boss. Union actually looked worried there. Introduction! Second rank tester. You gotta do your cool intro! You gotta let them know who you are! My name is this! I am this! You know? Okay, maybe that is important. Intro! <laughs> yeah, that's it. 50 points? <laughs> oh, Arue was her name, yeah. Intro. <laughs> oh, the intro is part of looking cool. She's the only one with the eye patch right now, too. Alright, this is supposed to be like cool intro magic. That, like you show up, you use this. Behold! There it is, the intro! I get a 200 points. And future headmaster, yeah. Usurp, bro. Usurp. I mean, he's not trying to hide his intentions. He's trying to be the headmaster. Thank you. You fucking cloudy the entire village just for this intro. <laughs> Union was very embarrassed to be doing her intro, right? Because in the movie, the dad was like, Oh, my Union finally has, like, um, acknowledged. And it was like, what's the word? Accepted her intros when she used to be so against it. Megumin. Oh, she's already teamed up. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. That is... You ever, you know, see that kid at school that, you know, it's team time and... You're big, yes. But it's like, you know, you're the last one left out, and they have to go with the teacher instead. Maybe you were that kid. Don't worry, it's not your fault. When he put his pose, dude. It's the, fl it's the flying crane. I think Dodonko is one of the funniest names, though. You're the foremost something. There we go. And? Yeah, there we go. But that intro is kind of lame. That's actually pretty funny, though. Oh. There you go. 
<laughs> nice one. She, she is quite developed. Yunyun's too embarrassed to try it, though. Louder. Come on, Yunyun. You gotta accept the cringe, Yunyun. You gotta become the cringe. And once you become the cringe, then you're cool. <laughs> Mom, pose. Wonder what she thinks about Yunyun. Keep looking at her. <laughs> this is not faking sick. <laughs> this is acting sick. You've been possessed. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> I'd like to think that he just played along with it and he's uh, approving this because Megumin put up a good act. Why is she sitting out though after looking at Union? Oh, it's for Union. Oh, since the beginning, she's always been looking out for Union. Oh, Megumin. Hmm. Union knows about Megumin's dream, right? That's why, you know, she sacrificed herself to help her sister in the in the flashback, right? <laughs> Uh, uh, that's her accepting her. That's her accepting her. No, they just don't know the true power of explosion magic. Yeah, that was crazy. She just wiped out that entire monster thing. Who was she? Where was that? Megumi is fucking around with the puzzle and I guess released the seal. Therefore, this girl is now out. But then there's another girl that we saw the bracelet to that's probably trying to find her. They're probably related. I don't know. Yeah, that explosion type was so different. Because we usually we see it from like above. It descends down. But it looks like she just like shot an orb. Other half. Other half. That must be the girl with the bracelet. But she specifically mentioned the negative part about explosion too. Not just about how it's... um. A joke magic, or it's not practical. There's actual negative side effects. It's gonna be a while for her to learn explosion, huh? I don't see it happening till like near the end. But it's really fun to see the come up of Megumin and everyone else in here too. Especially if you watch the movie. Now you know more about these characters too. Was she just a regular woman though? What is he? It's so nice to see these characters that we just saw in the movie all grown up. Now in the come up story, everyone is, you know, developing. And Arui is most developed. But who is that girl in the beginning? The other half, clearly the girl that got the bracelet, right? They're trying to find each other. Why does she specifically know explosion magic? Why does she say that there's a negative aspect to it? I thought she was going to teach us explosion magic too. What the fuck we said? If you could have one wish, what's going to be? Didn't even help us cross the crawfish. Now, the way that they made in the beginning. Oh, uh, Megumi giving Union crawfish. Megumi, if you, if, if you take that uh, at, at face value, it's almost like Megumi was always looking out for you. And you saw what she did there, you know, saying, oh, teacher, I got to go to the go to the uh, hospital or whatever. Uh, make Union partner up with Aroe instead. She's always looking out for Union, even though she'll never admit it. It's so cute. The flashback story, remember how Union saved Megumi's sister because Megumi didn't want to allocate her points to the explosion. That will probably come up sometime soon later or two. So we'll get the full flashback in the future. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.